<laughs> Two. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am joined by a special guest, Mikey Angelo slash Mr. Grande. Hello, I'm so excited to be on a famous Nick video. I can't wait. The line to get on my videos is quite extensive. So I've I'm heard. glad we could pencil you in. <laughs> Mikey is very popular on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and basically anywhere that there is video. Uh, maybe not OnlyFans, but <laughs> who knows, one day. The night uh, is young. The night is young. He is very known for his rap videos and they are very impressive. And I thought, what better person to teach me how to rap and maybe unlock my rap persona? Because most people watching, when they first think of me, they think, wow, Nick should really be a rapper. Do you have aggression? you have aggression inside you? Sure. I get out. aggressive about like stupid things. Like we'll be watching like the princess switch. <laughs> and that's when I get aggressive. <laughs> That or is... like if I'm at Chipotle and someone pisses me off, that's when I get aggressive. Gotcha, okay. So we're gonna harness that today and we're gonna unleash that inner. Um, I would just like to be clear, I rap about memes on TikTok for a living. I don't know if I'm the spokesperson to teach Nick about rap. No, but, no, you know... you're the spokesperson. <laughs> we took a vote. <laughs> I know, reached out to for all you, the that top makes rappers. Sense. That makes sense. Nikki and Cardi included, and they have decided that you are ultimately the final say in the rap world. So first, we have to come up with my rap name, persona. Yes, so when I first created my rap persona, basically I'm like a, a Gen Z stereotype of someone who ha like never touches grass, and mm -hmm. so I kind of infused that exaggerated stereotype of a Gen Z with a social media obsession with my, you know, love for songwriting. And so today we're going to find what's inside Nick Smith that needs to come out in the form of rap and rhyme and music and art. And um, we're going to get to see really what's what's in here. So it's going to be great. Just cold ice. <laughs> I'm thinking Maybe something about blouse, like the blouse. Ooh, okay. What? Tell me about this. T what's I mean, I love a blouse. <laughs> I am a blouse. So I just feel like it fits. Okay. The but are there rap like, like it's like Megan the Stallion. So maybe it's like Nick the blouse. Nick the blouse, wait. That's fun. Wait, that's really fun. Nick the blouse, I love it. Welcome to the stage, Nick Welcome the blouse. Welcome to the stage, Nick the blouse. Second thing, we have to now choose a topic for this round. Yes, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you, we're gonna pick a topic and it, this is a loose topic. You can, you know, have like a general like rap, but overall we're gonna like have a topic that you wanna express. And because you're Nick Smith 09, I figured we would put nine minutes on the clock and give you nine minutes to come up with a rap and just- Grammy award winning lyrics. Let them have it. How do you choose your topics? Um, I choose my topics, so like I go by Mr. Grande because I, you know, for the longest time my one personality trait was being an Ariana Grande stan, and so that's just a facet about myself that I, you know, infuse in my rap persona. Um, but I pick my topics based on like what's trending, what I think is funny, what I've been watching nonstop on my For You page, it's just like a concoction of uh, memes in pop culture. I'm at my best when I'm trash talking and shitting on my friends. Ooh. So maybe it can be a diss track about my friends. Do you want to hear the beat first or do you want to go into it and not hear it? I mean, it's... I should probably hear the beat. Okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah. It's a very basic beat. I just, you know, try to make it easy for the beginner, but right. <laughs> just fair enough. And does it have to rhyme? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I it... get my thesaurus. <laughs> so this is the beat that I will be rapping to. I would say we're gonna do two stanzas. I feel like that's a good, that's a good, so... So that would mean how much do I need to write? I would say eight lines total. So like eight different- and how many words are in a line? This is one, this is like one stanza. Okay, okay. Nine minutes on the clock. Nine minutes on the clock, yes. Three, two, one. I 
I feel like Alyssa Edwards in that Drag Race challenge where she's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten the beat, but I just figured I'll make it work. Okay, yeah, that's the name of the game. I think I'm done. Wow, with 20 seconds to spare. Oh my God, you had some shit to talk. I am very excited, okay. I'm excited for you to hear, but I think maybe to start, you should do yours so people know what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> I did write a couple bars that I can throw on. Oh, a couple bars. I've been calling them stanzas. <laughs> I wrote a couple Tony Danzas. Tell me when to hit it. All right, hit it. Yo. <clears throat> Nick Smith 09, but it's kind of giving 10. When this is done, they're gonna be like, who gave this twink a pen? Me and you with the new duo to trend. Go tell Mateo Lane, it's time to find a new best friend. I like Ariana Grande and a Grande iced coffee. I'm rapping like I'm tough, but looking like a softie. Talk a big game, but I'm really kind of little. I'm a femme Eminem, you could call me Skiddle. I think we're all here for the main event, which is... Nikki, if you're watching... She's doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> the debut of Nick the Blouse. <laughs> I don't even know how to fit it with the beat, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Right, I'm sure yeah. that's what all the rappers say before their first live performance. We're gonna give it our best shot. <laughs> DJ, hit it. Ah, uh. yeah, work. I'm Nick the Blouse, and I'm here to say I have the worst friends in history. Let's start with Bob, who brought me in, and all the hairs on his chinny chin chin. Next is my frenemy, who goes by Mateo. He's the worst, and he goes by Potato. Monet is nice, and Monet is funny. She may have tied, but she still got that money. Jacob is always down for a game, even if sometimes they turn out lame. Last but not least, it's Mikey A. He is the best rapper in history. This is my rap. I thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe for Mateo. We'll start to sing. <laughs> Last okay. one was wordy. Honestly, that was like kind of good. Honestly, Ice Spice is trembling. Uh, Doja Cat has taken up Christianity. Pink like, Panthers, what's her name? Yeah, Pink Panthers. Oh my. Nick the Blouse. Retired. Girl, that was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was way better than what I was Nine doing. minutes, baby. Watch oh, out. Damn. Best new rap artist at the Grammys. Uh, that's gonna be a Billboard number one hit. I can hear it. I feel like that would also be controversial. I'm also so excited for your friends to hear this. That was great. Also, they don't watch. I feel like I'm gonna continue to rap in my spare time. If you would like to see other raps, you know, let me know. We can bring Mikey back for a part, duh. Well, Mikey, Mr. Grande, thank you so much for doing this. It was a pleasure to hear you rap firsthand and to get some of your wisdom in my new rap career. The world is not ready. The world is- For Nick D. Blouse. Certainly not ready. Thank you for watching. If uh, you want to see more, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and give thanks. Anyways, until next time.